What's up guys? This is the Rotherman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire and this could potentially be the final episode. Um, in this episode we are beginning our offensive against the Huron territories. We're here, we're landing our troops here up at York Factory. Uh, the garrison itself is pretty depleted and there's a reinforcing army somewhere which we have to deal with but who is also largely depleted. Uh, but nevertheless, let us attack and capture the city and uh, civilize the western, well the midwest, or the mid United States I guess, not really the midwest. Um, but yeah, this looks like it's probably going to be the finale. We have four more territories to capture, I think. They're all Native American territories. We've got, we've got the Pueblo Nations, we've got Huron and the Plains Nations. Actually that's five. Well, five including this one, four excluding this one. So let's deploy my guns back here on a defensive line. Let's put our infantry with our Swiss Grenadiers and Swiss Regiment on the right. Obviously our Swiss Grenadiers looking great. And my Swiss, uh, Swiss Regiment's looking pretty snazzy too. Then on our left flank. I'm going to put our line infantry supported by our line infantry guards. Ah, okay, right. That's the, that, there's my guns, and there's a unit of undeployed pikes who will be pushing up both flanks. A regiment of horse on both flank. General in the centre. Howitzers popping off shots. Haven't seen any enemy reinforcements moving up yet. But it's because they probably haven't needed to be deployed. All of my guns are going to be focusing on that chief's bodyguard. Where's my general? Ah, I've moved him like, like I moved cavalry instead. Yes, they're not out of artillery range. They might be out of how it's arranged for now. Actually, let's make make my regiment of horse push up a bit further. Hello. Interesting choice. Continue the advance. Aha! Is there going to be a big... Okay, right. Let's test a theory. You guys haven't activated yet. Oh, no, you can't do anything. Okay, you guys attack ground right there. It looks like they might be hidden. Oh, they've moved. Yeah. Get my cavalry back. Get my line into position. It's best to just not get caught out. But these garrison bowmen, they are going to get caught out. <laughs> Shattered in a the volley. There they go. Ah, go on. Let's quick climb them. They're using chemical warfare! How could they? Get my cavalry back. I was, ac <coughs> hmm. I was accidentally clicking or holding shift. Keep my cavalry moving. I 
just need to keep an eye that the bulk of them do keep moving forward. So you may as well counter charge. Do a bit more damage, get a handful more kills on the charge. Let's take the flanks of our line and advance them up. Cavalry can deal with the warriors because they're likely to break fairly soon. It's my general going in. He will likely have a great time against them. Shaken. Wavering. Broken. Just need to shatter them. There we go, they're shattered. Nope, get my line back. So this will be useful to see where the enemy reinforcements come in from. My artillery focus on the chief's bodyguard. So let's take my left flank. Push him up again. There's a unit here that's hidden. Put a volley into the warriors. My pikes are running the wrong way, even though they have orders to charge. Okay, let's try to knock out this unit to speed up where the reinforcements will come from. Bowman hidden out here somewhere. Yeah, there they are. You just saw a couple of them die in the volley fire. Okay, so it's over here, the left flank. That's where the reinforcements are coming in from. Let's pivot these chaps. because we know that's where they, they're coming from we can reorientate our line so just create a new front line like this these two units can hold this flank the new men push up the front here. In terms of my cavalry, my artillery rather, eh, the rear one has to fire round shot. My foot artillery here. We might have got charged by their warriors. Well, I never even noticed. Let's bulk up the front line here with some extra pikes. Pushing this flank, you men attack the warriors. Send my pikemen in to also attack them to back up my infantry. You said fuego, why didn't you fire? They must. 
charge the pikemen on. Charge the pikes on into the bows. Into American warriors on the flank. This flank needs to move up fairly rapidly. Get the cavalry up. And you guys push forward. There we go. You men push forward, fire it well on. And they're fleeing from my pikes. Chief's bodyguard still running around the rear. Ah, oh, they're not going to get as good of a charge off. Hey, Bowman, cavalry, get in here. Hit the chief's bodyguard. Pivot my infantry to face off in against the centre. Commit my pikemen. So these Native American troops aren't expecting Italians in full or Spaniards in full plate metal. There they go. Garrison bow unit. The bowmen will not be long for this world. So you men push up to the front. Surround and destroy this unit of Native American warriors. Can't imagine they think this is going well. Well, ah, just charge them. Don't take any of their nonsense. See them off their see them off our land. There you go, the Huron have been butchered almost to a man. <laughs> The Grenadiers have got in against the, bow the, the Bowmen. So they aren't going to be too happy about this state of affairs either. As the Swiss Lion charges in, they haven't really had much to do. Ooh. Yeah, the Garrison Bowmen are going down first. There they go. Should be everybody. Yes, there we go. First territory captured on our road to world dominance. Yoink! So let's get rid of the hunting grounds, build better roads, replace, replenish our army, build a fur trapper. So Felix Gallas, you can form up. We are pushing on to the, into the Hurons other territory up here in the north but we're not there yet we're advancing up towards Yankton we're ready to jump on Texas but I want um, Tito Cardenas force to be ready we're ready to jump on to Santa Fe and then that'll be everywhere at the end of the day we still have plenty of armies I've sent running up towards the center so I've got 
force here that's running up to the Plains Nations. Same with Fonzie. Oh no, Fonzie's going to go garrison Chikasa. Because I want this force up towards the Black Hills. Let's hit end turn. My spy is scouting the way to see what's up there. Yes, Euron, you might well try and run around wondering what you're going to do. Because this force, under Felix, is going to drive... You've got percussion shells. Now we're on to percussion cap. So Felix... So that's their territory, isn't it? Yeah. We're not even at the border yet, so there's no, there's no need to declare war on them just yet. Felix is ready. Next turn will be the turn he can advance. We've got Miguel Capitello up here as well. So next turn we'll hit Texas, but this turn Celio Andrade can attack the garrison at Fort Sault Ste. Marie. Much sturdier uh, here on force, but they shall fall. It's going to be our first outing of the Company of Guitar Shotgunners. So let's take out their capital. This should be should be pretty nice. We can take the well once we've done this, we've secured the north. Then we can take out the Pueblo nations over the next couple of turns. Then we can just swarm on the Plains nations, and that will be our campaign done. So I want to use I want to play this one a bit more of a classic battle style like if you were fighting against the Native Americans you would try and create your defensive line to gun them down although my guns aren't going to be that well dispersed. I might put one over here on the flank. So I've got you know conquistador that can protect them. Uh, Coro Nestre de Navarra can be on the left, who just look like guerrillas or armed citizenry. Let's have a look at the shotgunners. Actually, let's get them out of the woods so they stand up right. Oh, they're hiding anyway. Yeah, they look pretty nice. Their range is pretty good for shotgunners. <laughs> Can't imagine they've got shotguns, but whatever. Good. Then we could put a Guardia de Corps plus a Carabino Real on the left. Pikes behind my heavy gun team. General in the centre. Howitzers. Deploy. So my guns can engage all day long and I think what they're going to realise is they can't really afford to just stay back. They're going to have to come and see because my superior firepower otherwise will be the end of them. So getting some long shots against the armed tribesmen. Chief's bodyguard, Chief's bodyguard. Ah, nah, to hell with it. We've got plenty of artillery. Let's push forward. Push up to the road. They're still going to come to the same conclusion. They can't really just sit there. Because they've lost 60 men, they've lost 12, they've lost about 10. <laughs> I think they must be all be moving into greater line up here. To be honest, let's get, let's get a bit more. Let's send our Carabino Real up here. And our Conquistador on the other flank. If they're going in alone, they can have fire at will on. 
I want my howard to switch to round shot. Because at least one of them can start to engage the enemy as well. Wild tribes, man. Now they're walking into position. I think it's because this flank doesn't have as much cover in as this one. Send the skirmish cavalry. Aha, there they are. There's more of them. We found them. So you've triggered the hero on to attack. To be honest, as we're pushing and finding places to be safe, I should really be pushing up my line. Those bowmen are going out wide. Get my guardian to core out here. Guys, get my shotgunners involved. Well, they fired their volley off, but it wasn't quite so good. Oh god! My conquistador! And my infantry! Cease fire! Cease advancing! Form your line! Guardia de Corps will chew up those bowmen very nicely. This cavalry can hit the bowmen. You back here. Start blasting! Actually, just run your cavalry behind the lines for now. Howitzers... Start blasting. Get my Guardia Decor up here. Ah, oh, my pikes didn't make it. Charge my Irish Brigade in. Of it. Yeah, my conquistador did not like that engagement, but I'm hoping. Actually, aim at the musketmen primarily. Fuego! Okay, garrison warriors have shown up, so let's get out of the action. Switch your howitzers to round shot. Except for one of you. you over to that fight. These troops want them to support the... Actually, I might have to get my pikes over onto the left. Let's make sure our skirmish cavalry is far it will off. <laughs> yeah, a lot of shots going in against nothing there. Pikes attack the native warriors. Go 
God, he had a core slam into the native warriors. Can break them. My pikemen are doing a good job against the warriors here. You in advance to block off that unit of bowmen. Musketmen have routed. So let's push the flank up. Go on, my pikemen. The poor old fusiliers should not be having to deal with such pain. You men push up the left against this unit of native, against this unit of bowmen. Get some of my heavy guns to back you up. All my howards are switched to round shot. Bring my cavalry back because the bowmen are about to get shot to pieces. Shattered, shattered. Just broken. There we go. My Coronestre de Navarra. Can also put a volley into the bowmen. My guns attack the medicine men. Keep pushing the left with these two units and two skirmishes. Because they are just broken, they can come back. Pikemen are ready. Counter charge the medicine men. Okay, get everyone to shoot the, ch the chief's bodyguard. There we go, the medicine men are done. All that remains is this last chief's bodyguard. Open fire on him as soon as he dr drifts within range. There's the chief. You lucky, you lucky bugger. There we go. <laughs> Got a bit dicey, but there we go. That's the end of the Huron. The north is secured. Let's get rid of this building. Let's. Replenish you guys. Let's build the mine. Let's build the fur trapper. Let's get better roads. Looks like it's it. You've got two towns that haven't developed yet. We can upgrade the government building here in York Factory. I would like you guys to push. And it looks like we will get that opportunity. So you will also drive down to here. Good. So let's hit enter. Then we can push on to Villa de Berra. Many, 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 many armies. That's not even all of them. We've not even set, shipped all of them across. Upgrade the mine, upgrade this, upgrade the farm. Construction report on a new town. Perm in Comey. Good. Again, all this building we don't really need to work on. I mean, I said that, and I actually started just doing some building. Yeah, let's just stop. Uh, right. So who do you want to attack with? Tito, Jose de Zuniga, Miguel Capitello. I like Tito for this one. So we're going to declare war. I've specifically attacked the city. I want to bring in... I'll bring in other armies. If they intercept us, they intercept us. We'll just bring everyone in. 
let's make sure you to be honest I'm going to auto that fight make the main action be Texas. Got a tobacco plantation. Let's get some roads built. I mean, Santa Fe currently build 90. It's currently on, <laughs> produces 90 gold and it will expand. It will double its wealth in one turn because of enlightenment is 104. Um, but Tito, there he is. Let's attack the garrison here at Texas. Plenty of warrior society coming in. And some Native American troops, but nothing to worry about. And then this will be the end of Texas, and then we can push on and hit the Plains Nations peoples. It will take a few turns to get our army up there, but we know that the end is definitely, definitely on the way. So, so, so... We can deploy our troops and then go quite offensive as we have done in the past. It's quite a nice map really. Deploy my artillery behind the lines, my howitzers further up. Form an almighty infantry line with some incredibly elite troops at our disposal. We may get surprised by reinforcements actually we might we could really get surprised by reinforcements based on the uh, where we attacked you're kind of surprised so in the remainder of this line Advance towards the enemy at speed. These two units can try and push around the flank. Banked up by some cavalry. How it's as folks fire on the enemy coming in. Chief's bodyguard's charging. Come on, my halberdier guard. My guerrillas can hopefully put a volley into them. Okay, if you can't, then cease fire. Counter charge with my halberdier guard. Actually, might start quick climbing the enemy troops yeah they're sending troops to, to, to counteract us we killed their general because these aren't just anyone these are Hal royal halberdier guard so now you men can start putting volleys into the enemy troops You guys firing at will. Okay, you, you men deploy. Because you might actually be in a bit of trouble. Get my halberdier guard off to the centre. So who are you fighting? T tribal gunners, native warriors. Drop two units into square. My conquistador can be fire at will on as well. Well, you're going to have to storm up towards those bowmen, otherwise they're just going to pick you apart. I'm 
my gorillas should stay wide. Both my howitzers attack ground here. Could be dangerous. Especially with your angle, actually. Maybe more like here. Come on, you should be cutting those bowmen a new one. Get my Royal Halberdier Guard to try and fight these Navajo Scout Warriors. And they're starting to skirmish the native artillery. Yeah, so there is what I was kind of hoping would just tickle the back of their formation. shoot into the tribal gunners because they're actually causing us more problems. Get our conquistador back. Then push on into the next unit. I'm not quite sure. Okay, yeah, you chased, chased them down when you had no right to. Conquistador. Try to set some Walloon line to help bolster their flanks. I don't think we're going to need as much support here. It's got bowmen and medicine men. They're being roundly attacked. I think the artillery just better focus on something else. Attack the troops coming in. They're going after my my line. Medicine men have made contact, but they might route. Yeah, they did route. So just form line. Critical. The warriors have broken. Tribal gunners are going down. Native American warriors are upset. The gunners have abandoned their gun. Form your line. Get my halberdier back over onto that flank. Excellent. So everyone is not cavalry. <laughs> Form up. The conquistador fire it will off, but push up. These Native American warriors are just getting shot at by my <laughs> Cavalry. But we're going to want to start pivoting. Aha! You men, load and fire. Charge the bowman because my line needs to move up. All my guns focus on that unit of Native American warriors. Didn't expect my gorillas to stand up to that for very long. So let's form a new line. Pull my halberdiers back. I can use my howitzers to quick climb them. A lot of wavering here. Actually, they're coming back at us. Ooh, that didn't help, that quick climb.
bring my troops up, bring my conquistadors up, bring my guerrillas up. Got my conquistador to hit the medicine men. And my Walloon line to hit the medicine men. You men get back here to join the line in their place. You men aren't in, in position. You men can get involved into this action, try and help out my Halberdier Guard. The Conquistador push up rapidly, my Guerrillas push up rapidly. Form your line. Get my Conquistador out of there. Especially at Firewall on. I mean, I haven't moved my guns this whole time. They're okay back there. No, they're here. I thought these were my howitzers. Yeah, I thought those were my howitzers. howitzers. That's why I was particularly keen to not move them that much. Because I'm like, eh, there's no point moving them. I could get my Conquistador to charge on the back of these warriors. Yeah! Surprise! You are being slaughtered. Oh, I almost left clicked on end the battle there, right? I was trying to get my artillery to attack the uh, attack the last remaining unit, but there we go. Tito, your force has done their last has fought their last battle and they can now retire in style in Texas but the remaining troops well it is Zuniga and Miguel Capitello continue your advance up that lonely road towards Yankton I don't think we'll need all these armies, but we may as well use them. I think they know. I think they know uh, what's uh, what's about to happen. So let's trigger the war. Yeah, it'll take many turns for these armies to get up into position, but oh well. There we go. You knock. You always knock down the Native American farms because they aren't efficient. It's that you. They just, they're just not very good. You can't upgrade them as well as you can uh, modern ones. There we go. New port emerges. New port emerges. There you go. Just garrison it. New port emerges in Granada. Good ports. To be honest, we don't need any port protection <clears throat> at all because the only city left in the game has no ships. I don't know why I'm wasting my time doing all that. Everyone's moved up. <laughs> Hit end turn. <laughs> if we give them half a mil, they become our protectorate. No. Our bartering was sincere. I'm sure it was. To be honest, you can f just fight. Fight the force here. Bring in the garrison as reinforcements. Let's start to uh, wear them down. So attacking this force here, bringing in the garrison. Yeah. Let's do this thing. We, will, we are making pretty good progress. Pretty good progress. <laughs> pretty good progress. The campaign's almost over and we own the entire world. Of course we're making good progress.
so we can try and do this a bit more logically a bit more of an incremental advance rather than my previous couple battles where it's just been a bit of a chaotic scramble we've got Geronimo Nadal who has had he's got a bugged garrison unit And we've got one more unit of demi cannons who are going to sit back here and just plink. Okay, so the gar the reinforcing army is coming in from the left. Where's my cavalry? Send my light cavalry in. My guns focus on someone like the... Oh, no. You guys just form up. The gun that's firing... And my howitzers, to be fair, all oh, focus on the chief's bodyguard. My light cavalry can knock out the native artillery. And here come the reinforcements. My infantry de marina will be more than up to the task of forcing away this cavalry attack. And they're losing troops rapidly. Whoa, who fired who fired that? I've got a sneaking suspicion it was Well no it wasn't. Disregard. Form a new line. Limber up my guns. The Chief's bodyguard tries to swarm in again. Retreat. Bowman, go get him, cavalry. Did you start canister shotting them. Native American warriors, they're a bit sturdier. So let's maybe keep these units here. Pull my light cavalry out of that. So we know that the enemy have gone silent. They're in here hidden. Let's get my light cavalry out of here. Oh, for God's sake, the stupid left click issue. Get my cavalry out of there. Some Native American warriors. Let's get the cavalry out on the out 
fl on the flank wide, ready to charge the bowmen, because the bowmen will go down easy. There we go. Back they go. Demi cannons engage the warriors. Yeah, there's bowmen in here somewhere. They're killing my marines. Probably about here. Charge my cavalry in there just to stir them up. Yeah, the warriors, eh, they're wavering too. Okay, so... These units push up. There we go. Flank is defended. Blast the Native American warriors. They're still coming in. Okay, let's pick different quick climb targets. Sure, I'll charge my fusiliers in. Why not? Everyone else has to hold their ground. Are you ready for the Warrior Society? And my demi cannons blast the Native American warriors coming in. Yeah, my fusiliers, they're doing okay. Medicine Men and Warrior Society coming in, so you want to try and deal with these threats rapidly. Okay, so you guys accept my cavalry, reform your line. You men charge into the Warrior Society. Get a bit of quick climb to try to thin them out a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's thin them out, alright. These warriors just have to keep slowly walking towards my guns, but my line is strong on the left. Medicine men are wavering, and they're broken, which reminded me actually, let's re target these bows to the rear with quick climb. They bumped into my Grenadiers, which is a fantastic unit for them to engage with. My Grenadiers won't take any mess in. Okay, let's deploy my Cavalry. We have bows on the horizon. Oh no, I didn't pull my all my infantry back. Silly boy. Get my fusiliers in there as well, even though they're not the best units to use for this job. Ceasefire, the quick climb firing practice. Fortunately, didn't do too much damage to my cavalry. To be honest, these guys can probably run for the garrisonator bows themselves. These chaps are just going to try and work on killing the garrison bows.
There we go. And my colonial lights. Slam into the bows. <laughs> there they go. We're going to continue this and I'm going to get my general into the mix. I mean, in theory, I should really be working on the melee troops rather than the bows because the bows go down a lot easier but at least with the bows well at least with um killing melee troops when they bash into your line once they're usually done for so it's something at least your melee infantry run into their li run into my line i kill them then they're done for there isn't any hidden bows around the map to chase down and destroy there's another unit up ahead, but just focus on destroying this warrior society. It's massively overkill, but... This unit's going to survive as they scamper off into the trees with cavalry hot on their heels. It says it was a close victory, but I don't think it was a close victory. We did pretty good. Slam. Oh my god. I can't get there in time. We have to hit end turn. As my other troops come storming up from the south. Looks like they've split up. Oh well, next turn, Mr. Nadal, you'll go for the capital. Yeah, you're in fairly good shape. Let's go for it. <laughs> Let's take the last territory. Uh, I was wondering if their army would try and push across the river and attack me, but it, it appears they understood that they were incredibly under strength, so they decided not to. All my guns deploy wide. All my infantry deploy together in one line to maximize your firepower. Cavalry mass the left flank, the idea being anyone with anyone who tries to do anything silly with my artillery will get focus fired. Forward we go. How it says just fire a round shot. Right, alert. So that cavalry unit routed immediately. So my infantry is going to run. I mean, they're probably going to come back because they haven't lost that many men. But my guy's storming over the hill where they can see the Native Americans in the distance. Arm tribesmen, arm tribesmen, arm tribesmen. Yeah, there they, yeah, there they are. They've come back. So attack them again with my artillery. So then my howitzers just open up. Oh, that's their general's unit. It's running around back here. Uh, 
They're shaken. All the artillery is in, coming again. Bouncing sharp. Oh, missed. Combine all my cavalry. Oh, God, there they are. Oh, that's all their bows. Go get them. Get Mr. Nadal in here. All the better if they do this. They do this kind of weird retreat thing. Because then we can knock out one garrison boat unit at a time. Shake it. Oh, the cavalry's... Oh, they were charging. They changed their mind at the last moment. So let's use my general's bodyguard to charge the Native American warriors. Before they get it into their heads, they're going to join this conflict. My super general's unit. Man, counter charge the warriors. Get my troops off the hill. Storm down the hill. There we go, we killed their general. And the garrison has just collapsed. Except for this guy over here. These guys over here are holding. Oh, they're both shattered, so don't worry about them. Shattered, 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 shattered. Shattered! No coming back for these guys. There we go. Good stuff. And so ends our Spanish campaign. We've conquered the world in a shockingly short number of turns. Who thought Spain would, would be this? this effective at taking the world but there we go it's all of the americas all of europe down into india is ours as well awesome 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 so we're earning about three hundred sixty-six thousand per turn so it's not going to be the, the most we've ever ever earned by the end game because we haven't played for an extra you know 50 or so turns to get the growth of the rest of the world up but obviously loads loads of territories just aren't fully upgraded anyway so we're earning about 168,000 a turn but awesome thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and replacing this campaign will be a campaign run campaign playing playing as bavaria uh, which is quite interesting because it plays there's a couple of different challenges in here you know, playing as Bavaria, but I'm not going to go into those until I start the new campaign, which there won't be a delay. It will just be in the Swedish slot when it next comes around, so not very, not very long. Radio, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.